What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my 24 hour readathon. I have been looking forward to this video for so long. I have collected a decent stack of books. Let me show you what I'm going to be reading for this video. I'm going to show you this little haul that I got yesterday at the library. So they were doing a kind of like book sale thing. If the book had been published from 2020 to 2023, it was $4. Anything before that was $3. And they were all hardback. Like when I tell you, they literally, it was amazing. Like it was so beautiful seeing these like almost brand new books that were four dollars so i got the bodyguard by katherine center literally look it's essentially brand new i'm so excited to read this like i wanted to read this ever since Haley fam recommended it on her channel so i finally got it for four dollars and i'm a happy camper the second book is the atlas paradox by olive blake brand spanking new so unfortunately i have not yet read the atlas six i definitely have to get that book first but i just couldn't pass it up like this was look just look at it it's perfect amazing so i'm happy that i didn't pass it by they also had happy place by emily henry but i already have that so i was just like i can't i just can't buy two exact copies of the same book because it was the hardback not the paperback if it was the paperback i would have snatched it it would have been mine because i spent over five dollars i got a free book which is so fun i got nicholas sparks message in a bottle and i love how the edges are deckled look how cool this is so fun these are the three books that i currently own which is so amazing let's get to the ones that i rented specifically for this challenge okay so recently i had read the selection series by kira cast and i absolutely adored them those books made me want to read everything in sight like literally they reignited my love for reading they reignited my love for dystopian romance all the stuff so i got the spinoff series i got the air and the crown it's essentially is like an epilogue series where the daughter of the couple in the first series that has to go through her own selection thing so i'm really excited the covers are so pretty i literally love them the inner little girl in me that always wanted to go to balls and be a princess is screaming let's look at the page count to see what we're setting ourselves up for all right, so the air is 342 pages. I can read that in one sitting, most definitely. The crown, wow, that's so short. <laughs> the crown is 278 pages. So I'm anticipating that I can read both of these books in one day. And then I got the entire Caraval series. They're extremely heavy. This is by Stephanie Garber, if you haven't heard of it. I was curious because I really enjoyed the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I literally still haven't even read the last book of that because I've been wanting to buy that in hardback, but that's besides the point. I got the entire Caraval series. So I got Caraval Legendary and Finale. And all of these, I believe, are like 300 pages or so. They're thick, man. Oh, cute. 401 is the first book. 443 is the second book. And 470 is the third book. All of them over 300. They're all 400 pages. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to finish all five of these books within the 24 hours, specifically because I did not know that these books were all over 400 pages. I'm going to guess, this is, this is going to be my educated guess. I'm going to guess that I'm definitely going to get through the rest of the selection series and caraval and then i'm gonna guess i'm gonna get into probably maybe 25 to 45 percent of legendary so that would be four books and i think that's a pretty good amount for a 24 hour readathon i also have in between books if for whatever reason i don't feel like continuing reading fiction i have the books that i started that are both christian non-fictions i have the master plan of evangelism which is only 141 pages and i'm 32 pages in and then i have switch on your brain which is only 201 pages and i'm 86 pages in this this would be the entire selection for this readathon. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get to reading. As you guys just saw, it is 117. So that means I'm gonna be reading until 117 tomorrow. And the first book that I chose is Caraval. I am just in the mood for a fantasy. I'm in the mood for a fairy tale-esque fantasy. So hopefully I fly through this because I heard it's a very good and fast-paced read. So let's begin. <music> So 
first update of the 24 hour rain challenge. I made it to page 64 and I'm actually so into this book. Like it took me a little bit to get into it. I kind of had a slow start, but then it just became so magical and so fairy tale esque It literally felt like I was just dove into the world of Shrek and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. I think this is so fun and I'm so excited to see how this book is going to turn out because I'm fully enthralled. I'm intrigued. I'm so into it and I'm so excited because I wasn't expecting it to like it as much as I am right now. So I'm going to keep reading, but it's been an hour so far. We'll see. I'll probably give you another update a couple hours later, maybe if I'm halfway through the book, but that's my first update. It's going good. I am officially 52% into the book. I'm on page 212. That's what it looks like. And I'm still so into it. I still really, really like it so much. I'm enjoying this story. I'm reading it so fast. It hasn't gotten boring at all. I'm so ready to keep reading and finish this book. I get the hype. I get why this is so famous. I totally 100% get the hype. Not sure if it's going to be five stars, but it's definitely going to be highly rated. So I'm going to finish up this book. It's about 4.30 right now. Actually, let me check this out. 5 30 it's 5 23 right now which is crazy i didn't know it was that late but i've been watching a little movie in my head as i read so i'm gonna keep doing that and i would say that this book so far has definitely lived up to the hype It is about to be seven right now and some bomb just dropped. Is that, I don't know how to say like, it wasn't really a plot twist, but it was a piece of information that was revealed. And I literally guessed it <laughs> from like the oh first page. <laughs> Yeah, from the get-go. I guess it from like the first few pages of the book. So I feel proud of myself, but on my chapter 22, I still have a good amount of pages left, a little less than 200. So I'm gonna keep reading and hopefully finish it tonight. right now meaning i've been reading for nine hours straight and i have officially finished caraval so <laughs> Honestly, this book was so amazing. I loved it from the beginning to the end. The ending definitely threw me for a loop. I was not expecting what happened before the epilogue. And the epilogue itself like gives you so much to hold on to and to expect for the next book, Legendary. I'm probably gonna read that like right now, like immediately. I just wanted to tell you guys that I really, really enjoyed this book. I'm gonna tell you guys my official review and rating at the end of this video, but this was phenomenal. I understand why everyone likes it so much and why everyone recommends recommends it I would highly recommend it and honestly like it's just a book that you can easily fly through I'm gonna start reading legendary right now
60 pages into legendary so i'm gonna give you a little update i don't really think i'm loving this one as much as the first one and the reason why i say that is because i find myself kind of zoning out in the middle of reading i don't know if it's because of reading overload or just because it's not capturing my attention as well as the first one in this book we have a character that is primarily in stephanie garber's second series which is her once upon a broken heart series i think i'm gonna reread that series because like i said before i haven't read the third book of that series yet so i kind of want to reread the first two before i get the third book and read it because i also really like that series so i'm kind of glad i'm reading this fully before i finish that series i'm definitely interested in what's gonna happen but to me it seems like there's so much going on in this story between both sisters so caraval follows the first sister her name's scarlet this book follows the second sister her name's donatella it just seems like there's so much going on so i'm very intrigued as to how stephanie garber is gonna like have everything come to a close or as much as a finish as possible considering there's a third book that's where i'm at i'm gonna keep reading now guys it is a few hours later from the last clip i took a screenshot of the time 1 16 because i wanted to document that it had been exactly 24 hours and at that point i had finished only caraval and i had made it to only basically page 200 of this book so because i didn't finish two books and because i did indeed go to sleep i slept for like eight hours last night i'm going to keep reading for another eight hours to make the whole entire duration of 24 hours be of just straight reading right now i'm on page 240 i'm gonna keep reading until i finish this book who knows if i'm gonna get to finale because these books like i'm reading them fairly quickly but at the same time there's a lot to remember because it's about a game and you have to remember all these names of these characters and what's real and what's fake and you have to remember what happened in caraval to understand what happened in legendary and then figure out how all the pieces tie in together and like you still don't really know if what you read up to that point is true or not or if it's going to continue being true because the whole point of this book series is that it's a fairy tale-esque game and the master of these games warp reality i think because of that it's been going a little bit slower for me but i am still into it i'm definitely intrigued in this book I will say so far I did like Caraval better, but I'm gonna finish this. I'm a little over halfway. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this book and then I will give you an update when I do. so it has been some time and i have officially completed the entire caraval trilogy so let's talk about it in the span of 24 hours exactly i did indeed finish caraval and legendary and i don't know why it took me so long to get to these two books i think it was because they were longer than i anticipated and also there was so much more happening in the storyline than i had originally thought i went into the series thinking that it was like a little bit adolescent and the writing was just super easy to get through and don't get me wrong it was but so so much was going down. So let's talk about Carol first off. I officially rated this book 4.5 stars. I fell in love with it. I was fully enamored. I had so much fun reading this book. It was genuinely like a fairy tale. It was just so fun and so cool. It was the kind of book that you read books to get that feeling and to be transported into a different world. Like it was just awesome. So I really, really liked it. This story follows the oldest sister named Scarlet and she is in this game game world that is on a, a secluded island away from the rest of the world and all of it is make-believe but it's so realistic that you can go crazy trying to decipher whether or not things are real or whether things are fake it was so fun like there's a little ticket on the back to get into the little caraval universe world and i really really enjoyed it i don't really have anything bad to say about it it wasn't a five stars just because it didn't give me that five star feeling as soon as i finished this book i was excited to get to the second one i wasn't necessarily hung up on any 
any particular thing from this book but it was very entertaining and i do like how slow burn stephanie garber keeps her romances okay now on to legendary this book i don't know if it was because i wanted it to continue in the storyline of the first sister or because it was a 24 hour reading challenge and i was trying to get through these books quickly so i could have content for you guys but i was zoning out so much through this book and it was the second sister's point of view her name's donatella and i'm not gonna lie her character at least in my opinion was a lot more well developed she's very headstrong she's determined she knows who she is she's independent she goes and gets what she wants and in that same stride she can be a little bit selfish because she's a younger sister and scarlet is just used to taking care of her and you know chasing her around but this one had a lot going on all at once maybe it was because i literally jumped right into this as soon as i finished caraval which i don't normally do i normally give myself like a day you know just to fully digest what i just read before going into a second book but it was just there was a lot going on like a lot going on and i'm not sure how all of it even fully tied up i don't think all of it even did tie up at the end of this book i just remember liking donatelle's character and seeing characteristics of myself in donatelle's character and i'm also not a fan of love triangles and that was kind of a trope in this book as well don't get me wrong it was super entertaining and i feel like if i read it leisurely at my own pace and not having just finished a book prior i probably would have rated it a 4.75 but because i kept zoning out and i couldn't really focus on any one particular detail of this book i just settled on a 4.25 i would say that was genuinely how i felt reading this book in the meantime you guys saw in the last few clips i did start finale and it was really really good but i started it within the 24 hours and i finished it after the 24 hours and this probably had to have been my favorite book of the entire series if not the second favorite behind caraval i loved it so much for whatever reason i still zoned out at donatella's point of view this book had both the sisters points of view and it definitely had a coherent storyline that flowed easily and it wasn't choppy it all made sense and it all wrapped up very nicely at the end and i honestly would love if stephanie garber continued this world i know that she did in the once upon a broken heart trilogy but i want to specifically the caraval characters because i think that would make for such beautiful novellas and things like that but anyways i figure i'd throw this in this little video because i did finish it and it's the end of the trilogy so i like this very much i rated it four point when i finished it i rated it 4.75 but now that it's been some time i'm just gonna settle at 4.5 it's so sad because all three of these books were so close to five stars but they just didn't hit the mark you know they didn't make the mark after a few days of having read this entire series i wasn't like oh my gosh i want to be back in the world like i think about these characters all the time after a day i was kind of like okay i'm ready for the next <laughs> i'm ready for the next books so anyways i finished these three books i'm very happy about it this 24 hour reading challenge was pretty successful considering i essentially read for 10 hours one day and then i read for 14 hours the next day which was a lot probably another contributor to why i was zoning out at the second book thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i would highly recommend this fantasy series god bless you guys and peace.